Here's the Night Fox Prowl and everything it comes with. You have the headband with the GoPro style connector and this adapter to connect and adjust. This is for your bump helmet. This is just a USB-C charger, manual, tether, and the unit itself. It does come with a little case. Um, there's no cap for the rear lens. Apparently this front one is a cap that's removable. Here's a comparison between a Samsung S21 phone and the Night Fox Prowl with interior ambient lighting. Both of these are mounted with each other side by side. This is a comparison of the Samsung S21 during the day in a dark room. However, you can see there are cracks in the doors where the light does come through. Now if I turn on IR0, so this is night vision mode with no IR, this is what it looks like. You can still see it's daylight outside. Let's get a walk around here. Um, you can see when you're walking, there's a lot of delay. Now in dark areas, you don't see anything. Both of these cameras are side by side. We'll turn it up to IR level one. There are a total of five IR settings. The first three are in the 940 wavelength. The last two are in the 850 wavelength. As the IR number increases, it becomes brighter. Setting four and five are the only two visible to the human eye. See the light coming in from outside here. Also, how does the audio sound compared to the Samsung S21 phone? All right, we'll turn the IR up level two, level three, and this is 940, here's 850, this is IR level four. Both the cameras are still side by side. IR level five, I believe this is the highest setting. And this is 850 also. All right, this is just to show you what your eye is going to see. Looking around. I think the recording may be better than what you're seeing with your eye. You can see in the center of the screen there's a large glare, especially on reflective surfaces, with the IR illuminator on. This is especially noticeable through the lens. And this is a dark room. There are some cracks in the door so you can see some light through. So this is what it looks like with zero IR in nighttime mode, but you can see there is some light over here. Now I turn the IR on. This is IR level one. You can see when you're Looking, the screen refresh rate, it's set to 30 right now. You set it to 60 and it actually locks up, so I'm just leaving it at 30. I hear there's a firmware update, but this is what we're dealing with for now. This tree here on the left is 20 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards, and the end of that trail down there is 75 yards. We'll compare all this at night. Okay, the tree on the left right here is 20 yards, that one is 30, the one down there is 50, and the very end is 75. That's IR5. Now if I come down, you'll watch the trees fade away. There's IR1, IR0. This is all moonlight, and then off. Alright, so here's an example of a red dot. So this is IR0, nighttime mode or night vision mode with uh, no IR. As soon as you turn it on, you lose everything. You're definitely not going to be able to use a standalone with an optic. You'll need an illuminator in front of the optic, otherwise it just kind of goes all over. But I think that's important to know I didn't when I purchased this. And I just want to show you the red dot with an illuminator. So that red dot setting is too bright. So there you go. You want it as dim as possible. 
and that's what you'd be dealing with with an illuminator in front of the red dot.